Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how the stock market keeps on dipping. We're going to go over some key support levels you need to keep an eye on moving forward for the S&P 500, as well as a couple of options that you might have moving forward with all this uncertainty uh, looming around us. So let's go ahead and dive right on into it. All right, guys, let's take a look at the S&P 500. We're actually going to start off on the one hour chart and see what we can expect off of the open. So we did break below the SMA line and we are definitely showing some more room for downside. The good thing is we are in the RSI right at about undervalued. So if we come out of the open and we drop more, I would expect, you know, maybe that first hour to be a little rough and then the second hour, maybe we can start reversing our um, our pattern, at least temporarily. OK, for that next hour. And try to start moving into a bullish pattern at some point, hopefully people will come start buying in because we will be in undervalued territory. Now we'll switch over back to the four hour okay, and talk about how that might affect us here. So we sell off more in that first hour we can see a potentially a big red candle all right and we are getting close to that SMA line and that's a little concerning to me it's because if we go below that and we drop far below that then we can see some more potential for downside and have a temporary trend reversal okay so the key level we're actually at two really really um, key levels here. So uh, 3819, 3819.72 is where we're at now. The big thing to watch, I think today and tomorrow, is 3790.27. If we get below there, then we can have some more room for downside. If we bounce off of that, that's a really, really good sign of us holding support on the SMA line and maybe, um, you know, we'll. It'll just be ugly for a few more days before we can make some um, room to make back to the upside. A good thing, again, on the RSI, we are close to undervalued. So I'm hoping that if we do see some more downside, maybe it's not too much more. And then worst case, maybe we can trade sideways for a couple of days or a couple of weeks, even if we have to, before we could make a big push back up. That's what I'm kind of hoping for. So uh, some options that you have, guys. If you know, if you feel really, really uncomfortable in the current market and you don't have a lot of money invested into the market and you're not down a whole lot of money right now, then you could cash out and just sit on the sidelines and wait for this whole thing to blow over. No, I'm not sure exactly how long that's going to take, but if you don't feel comfortable about that, then that's an option. Another option is if you have some cash on the sideline and you're watching your stocks go down, which is this is what I did yesterday, is I averaged down. I bought more shares at a lower price than my original buy-in price, and that's going to make the price per share that I paid for them go lower, okay? Uh, some, some stocks dropped 20 to 30 cents per share for my cost basis. Yesterday, some dropped a little bit less, some dropped more than that, but you can continue to buy in and average down that way whenever the uh, the market does continue to hopefully go up uh, you'll you don't have uh, more room for profit on that end okay and it won't be as it won't take as long for you to hit your break even point hopefully and then potentially make more profits that way and another option guys is you can just wait and sit back and watch which is what i did the entire last week i just sat back and watched last week to try to figure out what in the world is going on and then yesterday I decided I'm gonna you know kind of dip in and buy some more things and now I'm, I'm back to watching because the next two days to me are going to be very very crucial uh, as far as you know the overall market okay again if we bounce off of this SMA line it's a good sign if we go below it then we have a lot more room for downside in my opinion so we just kind of keep an eye on, you know, our major indexes, our S&P 500, our um, the Dow Jones, the NASDAQ, 
Okay, a couple other things I want to show you as well. The VIX is rising this morning. It had gotten down to about 23, and but it is rising now. Okay, so typically when it gets into the low, the low 20s, you know, closer to 20 actually is, and, and, you know, at least based on this past year, that the market is overvalued, and then we go back and forth from low 20s to upper 20s or even to the 30s, and you see that we are kind of, you know, creeping back up a little bit. All right. Also, this number right here, we were in the upper twos in the last couple of days, and then now we're, we're dropping down to the ones. So that's something to keep an eye on as well. The more selling we have, the higher the VIX will get, the lower this number will be. And, you know, we just want to make sure we keep an eye on that because if you get into the negatives, then that's uh that would really create some good buying opportunities for you because that shows that we we've sold off a lot okay and this is vixcentral.com for those of you who want to take a look at it okay and also on the fear and greed index guys we're right at about 50 percent we're kind of neutral i think people are you know we're not in the fear or extreme fear category so whenever we do hit this green section this greed and extreme greed which we were about here uh, before the pullback started okay we talked about that in some of our other videos you can expect some selling because people are just you know it's just kind of common sense all right so when we get into this red over here if we do get into the red back here that's whenever you would probably want to finish out some positions you can make some um, you know come in and average down pretty well because eventually what's going to happen is that meter is going to swing back over here into the green you just don't know how long it'll take so this now, if you Google fear and greed index, it'll be the first link that pops up in the Google to keep an eye on. So anyway, I just wanted to make this quick video, guys, for you, and I hope it helped and provided some insight. But keep an eye on the markets today. Be cautious, and we'll catch you in the next video.